Hello, this is Ron from Super 8 to Video on part 3 of 3 of syncing sound to video from the Wolverine Movie Maker. First, I start Video Studio Pro. I always half minimize Video Studio Pro by left single clicking here. You can come here and hover over the edges until the double arrow appears and shrink and expand how much screen Video Studio Pro takes up. I always leave the clips I am going to import on the right side of the screen and then I import them. Before, and I repeat before, I bring in my video, I drag in my screen capture program with the sound from the projector by left single clicking and holding the file and bringing it to the timeline. If this project settings box appears, I say yes to it. I right single click the clip, go up to split audio, left single click it, the audio appeared below. Now I right single click the video and go up to delete and left single click it. So now only the sound is left down below. I know the sound from this tutorial is way, way too low. So to raise it, I right single click the sound clip and go up to adjust volume, left single click it, and then I type in 500 for five times as loud the maximum amount Video Studio Pro allows. If your sound is too loud and you want it lower, put in a lower amount than 100, such as 80 for 80% 80 as loud. I'll put it back to 500. Click OK. I am going to the beginning of the sound clip by clicking this arrow here. I am now going to listen until the actual film sound starts and delete the sound before the film starts to play. I left click on this arrow to start the sound playing. I am grabbing the scrubber by left clicking and holding it here and backing it up just a little to where the sound started. Then I left single click the scissors to split the sound clip in two. I right single click the new section of the split clip on the left and go up and left single click delete. Click the play button to check your edit. I am coming up here to the magnification and left holding the click to grab the ball and moving the ball until I can see the end of my sound clip. Now left click here next to the repeat symbol to go to the end of the sound clip. Left click and hold the scrubber here and guess where you think the film ended and you were shutting the copy process down. Go back a little more to make sure you are hearing the sound from the film. Now let go of the left click, left click play button to listen where the film ended. Grab the scrubber again and back it up to where the sound ended. Left click the scissors and then right click the new portion of the clip that was split. Come up here to delete and left click it. Back the scrubber up again and then left click the play button to make sure your edit point was correct. Now we are ready to bring in the video portion copied from the Wolverine Movie Maker. First, half minimize Video Studio Pro by clicking on this square. Left click and hold the video and bring it into the timeline. Now re-maximize Video Studio Pro by clicking on this square. 
by left clicking and holding I'll move this sound portion to the beginning getting closer to matching the video portions start point. Now if you notice the sound portion is much longer than the video portion. This is because we have to change the Wolverine speed which is 30 frames per second to 18 frames and we do that by double clicking the video clip. If this area with color correction and speed time lapse doesn't come up it is because the attributes section came up instead. If you see the attributes instead then left click here where it says video to bring the video section up. Left click speed, time lapse, highlight where it says speed 100 and put in 60 instead. That changed it to 18 frames per second which is what Super 8 video was shot at. If you notice it also lengthened the video to almost equal to the sound clip. This is a Super 8 film of a Ronald Reagan rally in 1984. I am going to the part where a Vietnamese man is shouting four more years and a man in the crowd has both hands up with V for victory moving in unison with four more years. I am now going down here where the sound is and by left clicking and holding the sound clip I am able to move it to the right and left. I listen to the clip each time moving it forward or backwards until the sound matches the hands. I did this moving of the sound clip several times. I then listened each time to see if they aligned. I did this till they were in unison. There, now we have it. In a video like this where you do not have people speaking, where you see their lips moving clearly, this one alignment will usually work. However, if you have closer ups of people talking or a scene with multiple car doors slamming throughout the film that can clearly be heard, you may need to break up the video clip portion and change the speed of the video clips a little by changing its playback speed to 61 to speed it up or 59 to slow it down. This is necessary because the video is playing exactly at 18 frames per second. The projector you copied the sound from may run at 18.1 frames per second or 17.8 frames per second, etc. You can also change the speed of the sound by double clicking the sound clip and going to speed and putting in 101 or 99, etc. But keep in mind when you are doing this to the sound, the pitch changes and if you speed it up too much, the people sound like chipmunks. Too slow and their voices get very deep. That's it for part three. I am putting up this Ronald Reagan rally on Super 8 to video. You may find it fascinating. It shows some people's reaction to Ronald Reagan. It reminds me of people's reaction to Donald Trump today. There were even some leftover hippies in this film with peace and freedom party signs. There were people who thought God wants America to rule the world. Anyway, this is Ron from Super 8 to Video signing off.